All right, guys, out the range. First shots with the brand new Springfield Echelon, guys. Their new duty pistol. So, very first shots with this bad boy. Let's see how it does. First 200 rounds we shot guys were Federal 115 grain brass, American Eagle. Love this ammo, usually one of the better ammos I think out there for the price. Usually one of the cheapest, usually one of the most reliable and just overall good ammo. So check them out. with the Springfield Echelon guys in less than probably 36 hours. This thing is smoking hot. Um, it has survived everything we have thrown at it and it has done a very, very good job. Um, I think that's a contender for sure. Check it out, Springfield Echelon guys, now available. What's going on guys? Today we are talking about the Springfield Echelon, the newest pistol in Springfield's handgun lineup. But before we jump into this, let's take a quick second and thank those that made this video possible. Number one being Springfield Armory themselves, guys. They sent a couple of these over to us here at GunMade, and we do appreciate them getting them to us so that we could give our reviews out on them. So big shout out to them. Number two, our ammo sponsor, guys, AmmoMan.com, for sending us the ammo to put through these echelons so that we can get an honest review and give it out to you guys. AmmoMan.com is a very easy to use website and has quite a bit of stuff in stock and very well priced. So go check them out guys at AmmoMan.com. Let's dive into this Echelon guys. The Springfield Echelon is the newest pistol in Springfield's handgun lineup and this is definitely aimed at the duty style or warrior type of carry. The Echelon is kind of equipped with a lot of different features that we think you guys should know about. Number one being these really aggressive slide cuts on this thing, guys. You have some kind of normal rear serrations, but the front serrations are very deep as well as they have this little extra slide cut in it so that you can get the perfect wrap around with your support hand to do those infamous press checks that everybody's doing at the range these days. 
When we look at the sights itself, you got about a medium height front sight. It is a night sight with kind of this nice highlight green uh, ring around the night sight itself and Springfield's kind of famous U-shaped rear sight here. When we go to the optic system, this is something that really needs to be pointed out. This is their VIS system. This is proprietary to Springfield only. Not only is this kind of changing the game with the optic system, but it is allowing you to not have to buy a lot of extra parts in that end game if you like changing your optics around. So guys, this operates off multiple self-locking tabs that can be moved around on that plate. Long term, we would like to see how this thing holds up, but through our torture test of 500 rounds, this thing did not budge whatsoever. We noticed there was a little bit of a gap between our front and rear of the RMR, but like we said, the optic did not shift at all, so that is something that we'll be on the lookout for long term to see if that becomes a problem. But with this new optic system, they are claiming that it will hold or will allow you to mount 30 different optics to this thing. So pretty dang cool, definitely something to, to notice. And I think Springfield has done a pretty good job of being creative and giving us something new, at least something that can save us some money. Moving down to the frame here, guys, this is a pretty good stipple on this. I would say it's about a medium sandpaper grit and they went crazy with the stipple gun. So you have the stipple pattern on the frame itself, the bottom of the trigger guard, the front of the trigger guard, the index points on both sides, as well as the takedown pin, and the front recoil spring is also stippled as well. But that stippling does feel good, and if you guys are shooting uh, this for a duty type of carry, so sweat, mud, blood, tears, all that stuff, this thing is gonna stay nice and put in your hand. Complete ambidextrous control on this pistol, guys. You have a already functional mag release that works off both the righty and the lefty. You have your stippled index points as well as a ambidextrous slide stop and release. Now, one thing I think we can be a little picky about is if this is a duty type of carry, this slide stop is very small. I actually uh, created not a malfunction, but an incident slide twice to where I was back, riding the slide release so and it did not lock back on empty. So give us a little bit better uh, slide release here. And I think this is one of the only things that this pistol was lacking. I did like the takedown pin, how they kind of stippled it and gave it a flare. That does create this kind of perfect little gas pedal resting point for your support thumb if you are a right-handed shooter. So I thought that was very well thought out as well. Six the trigger itself is kind of spongy, guys. We're Even looking at about a six and a half pound trigger and the travel itself to the wall is not so bad, but the wall itself has got a very kind of high density sponge feel to it. And then the reset itself is very, very spongy to the point to where if you really try to creep that reset and fill that reset, sometimes you won't even fill it reset itself. Uh, that is not a big concern when you're shooting it because you're not as nitpicky and you're not sitting here really trying to find that fine detail of the trigger. But it is something I think that in the future, Springfield can maybe provide a little bit better setup on that trigger itself. The rail itself here, guys, has plenty of spots to mount any type of weapon light that you guys want. We had the Surefire 300 on ours for the review, but you can go from anywhere from a TLR all the way to an Olight if you wish to go that direction. And the frame itself, not only being stippled, also has these really nice undercuts in the trigger guard as well as the front so that you have plenty of space to kind of get that nice high and tight grip that we all like to do at the range. You do have three interchangeable back straps for this to give you a difference in the little bit of depth of the grip itself. Uh, this one is the medium one and we did not change it out, but it does come with a small, medium, and large. And at the bottom of this thing, guys, you'd have this slightly flared magwell. It is a very minimalistic magwell here, but it is kind of perfect for that little bit of extra help that you need for your everyday carry. When it comes to the grip itself, it is a full-size grip, so I'm not really resting on that magwell, so it's, it doesn't need that little extra flare like if you would have it on like a 19 size of uh, frame or something like that. The most important thing on this pistol though, guys, is that the serial number is now in the trigger group. Thanks SIG. 
uh, exactly the same type of concept here. So now that your fire control group or your COG, your central operating group, is what they're calling this, it can now be interchanged into multiple grip modules. I have not seen anything on the aftermarket yet, but that is something that is brand new to Springfield, something that's not brand new to the industry itself, but it's something that is really awesome because that gives you even more customization optims, options with this pistol in the long run. So I think that is a awesome option to have. I think that is kind of the new way of things going forward. You're going to see a lot of these manufacturers start putting those serial numbers on the trigger itself so that you could pretty much do whatever you want with the rest of the gun itself too. So really dang cool guys. These things are sub $600. They have made a very big splash coming out. Overall, out of the 500 rounds, we only had those two failure oh, to jam. lock back on empties and one stovepipe, but I do? believe that can be contributed to either a mag issue or ammo itself. We did overload these mags uh, with the extra grips that this thing comes with. You also do get two 17 round magazines. The 17 round magazines had two plus three extensions that were very easy to put on. But I think we had 21 in here at one time, and I think that's maybe what created that malfunction that you're seeing on that first shot. After that, it ran through the rest of the mag, and we didn't have another problem the rest of the 200 and something rounds that we shot that evening. So, Springfield Echelon, guys, approved by us. Very well done. I think, uh, you know, being the first rendition of this thing, I believe it is a, a very very positive outcome what they're going to see from this thing very hard to get it looks like right now with the kind of splash that they did make with their media release and all that but i am excited to see the future of the echelon and if they kind of listen to the people and give us the upgrades that we're kind of wanting or if the aftermarket comes through like it always does and provides us with those extras and those upgrades and those helping items that we're desperately craving so but that's it from us guys on this Springfield Echelon. I think it is an awesome pistol and I think you guys would really enjoy it if you got your guys' hands on it at the range. So don't pass up an opportunity if you get it and please let us know what you guys think of yours or if you guys have any issues with these going forward. We appreciate you guys tuning in and watching this video. Hit that subscribe button so that you can be alerted for our next one and we'll see you very, very soon. Stay safe.